This is part nine. Nine times. Nine times. Nine times. of our trip to Europe and during this video I'll be reflecting on our trip to France. During this reflection I'll be giving you the travel tips, the do's and don'ts. I need to first point out that this video is not sponsored whatsoever. This is all thanks to Michael's careful planning and his research. Thanks, son. So we got to our station Paris Nord. Uh, when you get off the station, especially at night, you need to be careful because there are a lot of pickpockets. Okay. Because there are a lot of pickpockets around the station. Depending on where you're staying, you might need to take the metro or taxi. Our Airbnb was just like 15 minute walk from Paris Nord, which was very convenient for us. While there are a lot of Parisians that can speak English, um, if you go to other places in France, they might find it rude if you don't at least like try to speak some French. If you know a little French from high school or college, bring it out, practice it a little bit before you go, just to be, I guess, a little polite to the customs because they're very proud of their language. So if they see that you're at least trying, they will work with you even more because you tried. Also, if they see that you are struggling with speaking some French, they will switch to English most of the time. So, beginning of our trip, we went to Versailles. We purchased Skip the Line tickets two months in advance. We went during September, so if you're going in high season, you should purchase them even sooner. You can purchase these Skip the Line tickets on the official website, and they will email it to you. Try to go in the morning because it will only get more crowded as the day goes on. We both liked Versailles. It was really grand and there's a lot of gold accents in the rooms. I like it because of the historic feel of it because I took French in high school. So of course I read about King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. For those of you who don't know Marie Antoinette, she was the last queen of France before the French Revolution. The Garden of Versailles was probably one of the biggest highlights. The garden seemed to have gone for miles. There was opera music playing in the background, so it really set the tone for the 19th century time period. After finishing the tour for Versailles, we headed to the metro station for Paris. We got off the metro at saint eu chapelle This is a place that's worth to see because it's only 10 euros per person. When you finish with the St. Chapelle, you can take a step out and take a left turn towards the same bridge where you crossed from the metro previously. At the bridge, you can look across and see Notre Dame. Unfortunately, due to the fire last April, it looks a little different and you can't go inside still because of the construction. But at least you can still view it from afar though. So. So after a quick look at Notre Dame, we went to meet up with our second bike tour. That's right, we took another bike tour. 
Along the way to the bike tour, we got to see the Palais Garnier. This is an opera house that can be toured. So as mentioned, we went on another bike tour. This bike tour was a little different from the one in Italy. We rode the XL electric bikes, which resemble to a scooter. These were a little more tricky than the electric bikes in Italy because these were a little more difficult to learn to ride, but the instructors will take their time to teach you and make sure that you know how to ride them. After getting familiar with the bikes, we went on our adventure. Our tour guide took us to the Arc de Triomphe de Carousel. This is across from the Louvre, so you can get a picture of that as well. We also rode by the Seine River, which led us to several sites along the way to the Eiffel Tower. We rode by Musée d'Orsay. We saw several palaces that have now turned into museums. Finally, he had us drive by the Eiffel Tower before stopping at a nice spot for pictures. After finishing up with pictures, we rode to the Flame of Liberty. This statue was to symbolize the friendship between the French and the Americans. However, after Princess Diana's accident in the tunnel beneath the flame, it has become a memorial spot for tourists to lay flowers in her memory. We continued on to our next stopping point. At this stopping point, you can see Les Invalides from a distance. Our final spot for the bike tour was Place de la Concorde. This is a major public square and this is also where they had the guillotine for public executions. There's also a decorated fountain, statues, and an Egyptian obelisk. We headed back to our meeting spot for the bike tour to return to our bikes and head to Le Louvre. When we went inside the museum, we went straight towards the Mona Lisa. The longest line can be defeated if you take a path by the sculptures and use the elevators inside the sculpture part of the museum. You will land yourself on the third floor. There are more loopholes like that, you just have to do your research and after viewing the Mona Lisa, we toured the rest of the wing of the museum. We see an armory, old European and Chinese silverware. We also viewed Egyptian and African artifacts. If you catch my drift, all these places after the Mona Lisa was mentioned provide a fast track for Mona Lisa if you go the opposite way. After viewing the beautiful museum, we visited Le Champs Elysees and Arc de Triomphe. While visiting, we bought crepes. In case you don't know what they are, they are like pancakes but flatter. People typically put like Nutella and fruits inside it and wrap it up. It's really good. What do you think of it, honey? Oh, it's good. Which tastes like ice cream on it. I think that's more of like a Japanese thing, but I mean, I think it just also depends on who you go to. We went to like a street vendor, but I'm sure if you went to a shop, oh, you can get ice cream. So Finally, after an eventful day, we headed back to our Airbnb. On our way, we got ice cream, eclairs, macaroons, baguettes, pommes frites, madeleines to stuff our faces with. Now, in case you guys weren't sure what palm frites or baguettes were, baguette is a type of bread, it's really long, and palm frites is French for french fries. So after that, we prepared for our training ride to London the next day. 
All right, so that was France. Um, I hope you guys take the information from this video and put it into your own travel adventures. If you'd like to see more videos, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys.